Hello everyone! So it is that time of year where my library has their annual book sale. So I got like probably over 40 books. So I won't be giving the description for every single book. So let's get started. I got four Stephen King books. The first book is Insomnia and this is set in the fictional town of Derry, Maine just like the story It. This is about Ralph Roberts who since his wife died he has been having trouble sleeping and he's been waking up earlier and earlier until he develops insomnia. And with this he begins to see strange things not only to, with his neighbors acting differently but things like he can see auras around people that lead up to the sky like strings. The next one is The Dead Zone. This is about Johnny who wakes up from a coma with the power to see the future. The next one is The Stand. And the last Stephen King book I got is Heart of Atlantis. I got nine true crime novels. The first true crime novel is Lust Killer by Anne Brewell. This is about a young woman who disappears in the late 60s in Oregon. Dead by Sunset by Anne Rule. This is about the murderer Brad Cunningham who killed his wife but there was no strong evidence and then he gets remarried for the fifth time and it turns into a nightmare. Thunderstruck by Eric Larson. This is about interwoven stories of two men. The first an unlikely murderer and then an inventor. So I like how Eric Larson combines two stories together that are connected but people wouldn't even suspect are connected. I read The Devil in the White City which is about Chicago's World Fair and the murder H. H. Holmes. And I liked that so I saw this and had to pick it up since I know he does a good job at telling two stories at once. Bloody Business, An Antidotal History of Scotland Yard by H. Paul Jeffers. The Real Lolita, The Kidnapping of Sally Horner and the novel that scandalized the world. This is about the 1948 abduction of an 11 year old girl named Sally. Outrage, The Five Reasons Why O.J. Simpson Got Away with Murder by Vincent Bugliosi. He also wrote Helter Skelter. Severed, The True Story of the Black Dahlia Murder by John Gilmore. This is about the murder of 22 year old Elizabeth Short. The Burning of Bridget Cleary by Angela York. In 1895 Bridget Cleary went missing and her family said that she has been taken away by fairies and when Bridget's body was found burned in a shallow grave, her family are tried for her murder. And if you have seen the Amazon show Lore or heard the podcast, they did a story on this one and it was really interesting. So I hope to find the book just as interesting. And the last true crime book I got was Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Burnett. This is about the killing of Danny Hansford, a local prostitute by by a respected antique dealer in the 1980s in Savannah. I got four Michael Crichton novels. The first one is Prey, which is a science fiction fantasy novel, which is about how an experiment goes horribly wrong and these nanoparticles escape and these particles were trained as to be predators and humans are the prey. The next one is the Lost World, which is the sequel to Jurassic Park. State of Fear, this is a science fiction thriller novel about how eco-terrorists want to commit mass murder to bring awareness of global warming. The last book of Michael Crichton I got was Dragon Teeth. This is a historical fiction novel set in the Wild West when digging up dinosaur bones was first started. I got three Ken Follett novels. The first one is Fall of the Giants. This is an historical fiction novel and it is the first book in the Century Trilogy. This follows five interrelated families throughout the 20th century. It covers events such as World War I, the Russian Revolution, and 
women suffrage world without end this is a historical fiction novel. This is the second book in the Kingsbridge series, the first one being Pillars of the Earth. The last Ken Follett book I got was The Key to Rebecca. This is a historical fiction thriller novel set in the Second World War. I got two David Sedaris books, Me Talk Pretty One Day and Dress Your Family in Corduroy and Denim. Both are non-fiction humor books. The next books, I didn't really put them in categories, so I'm just going to show them. The Bad Place by Dean Koontz. This is a horror novel. This follows Frank, who is afraid to fall asleep because every morning when he wakes up, he discovers something strange. For example, like blood on his hands. Closed Casket by Sophie Hanna. This is a mystery novel. And this is following Agatha Christie's character, Hercule, who was in books like Murder on the Orient Express. Edge by Jeffrey Deaver. This is a mystery thriller novel about a police detective who is targeted by a man who is hired to get information from him. And this guy will do anything to get this information like kidnap and torture. Cold Mountain by Charles Frazier. This is a historical fiction novel about a soldier's journey back to his beloved after Civil War ends. Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page. This is a young adult fantasy novel. It is a retelling of The Wizard of Oz. So Dorothy comes back to Oz and she seizes power and this power goes to her head and now no one is safe. Amy Gum, who is also from Kansas, is recruited into the the revolutionary order of the wicked to fight. Dawn of the Dreadfuls by Steve Hawkinsmith. This is the prequel to Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I also got Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I have never read this classic novel and I do have Pride and Prejudice and Zombies so I figured I should probably know the story of Pride and Prejudice before I get into those series. A Secret Kept by Tatiana de Rosene. This is a historical fiction novel about a brother and sister who return to an island 30 years after their mother's death. This is an island that they would frequent on a family vacation many years ago and they haven't returned since. But soon this island triggers more than happy memories. I've read her other book, Sarah's Key, and I loved it. It was very heartbreaking, but very enjoyable. And so I want to give her other books a try. In Her Shoes by Jennifer Weiner. This is about two sisters who are completely different. One's a lawyer and one is unemployed. But soon they have to live together and they realize they do have more in common than they thought. A Fine Balance by Ro Hinton mystery probably butchering that i'm so sorry this is a historical fiction novel set in india when the government has declared a state of an emergency it tells a story of four strangers who are thrust upon to stay in a very crowded apartment i got ink heart and ink spell by cornelia fuke this these are young adult fantasy novels I got Fight Club by Chuck Palunic. I read this many years ago and I would like to reread it, but I didn't have a copy and I was happy to find it. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafron. This is a historical fiction novel about a boy's quest through post-war Barcelona for a mysterious author whose book has proved to be dangerous to own but impossible to forget. Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. This is a young adult contemporary novel. It is about Grace who, after putting her baby up for adoption, goes looking for her biological family. She finds her younger sister, Maya, who has a lot to say about their family ties, and her older brother, Joaquin, who has no interest in bonding. Autumn by Ali Smith. This is a contemporary novel about a touching story between an old man who is 101 and a 
girl who visits him who is 32 who used to be neighbors when she was younger. The Gargoyle by Andrew Davidson. This is a historical fiction fantasy novel about a man who when he gets into a car accident he ends up in the hospital in the burn unit and there he becomes friends with this girl named Mary Ann who, who insists they were lovers in med medieval Germany. So this is told through the memory or story from their past and also through the present. The Rook by Daniel O. Malley. This is a fantasy mystery novel about Miffany who wakes up in a London park surrounded by bodies all wearing latex gloves. With no recollection of who she is, Miffany must follow the instructions her former self left behind to discover who she is and track down the agents who want to destroy her. This is probably the only book that I was so excited to find. I really want to read this book. All my friends rave about it and it sounds amazing. So I'm so happy to find this. The Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood. This is a contemporary novel. This is about Sindali who wrote a hit play and when being interviewed she described her mother as a tap dancing child abuser and this made her mom so angry to the point that her mom disowned her and she goes to apologize to her mother but the mother refused to see her and so the mother's friends who are known as the Yayas try to help. The Danish Girl by David Ebershoff. This is a historical fiction of novel about the life of Lily Elby, who was one of the first people to undergo sex reassignment surgery. So while Lily is a real person, this book is fictional. The Book of Unknown Americans by Cristina Henriquez. This is about the romance between a Panamanian boy and a Mexican girl. And I think I will really like this because I myself am half Mexican and I haven't read a lot of books that deal with Mexico. Us by David Nicholas. This is a contemporary romance novel about a man who is trying to save his relationship with his wife while building a bond with his 17 year old son who sees him as a stranger. I don't usually read romance books but I've only read young adult romance books and they tend to not be my thing, but I've never really read an adult romance book. So I'm going to try to give that a try to expand my reading. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. This is a mystery thriller novel. This is about Laurel who 10 years ago her 15 year old daughter disappeared. And after seeing someone who resembles her daughter, she has all these unanswered questions that come flooding back. Mortuary Confidential, Undertaker Spell the Dirt by Kenneth McKenzie and Todd Hera. This is a non-fiction humor book about different stories from a funeral home. Struck by Lightning by Chris Colfer. This is a young adult contemporary novel about the life of Carson Phillips who blackmails the most popular people in his high school. To contribute to Carson's literary journal, all to help him with college application. And the last book I got was The Real Science Behind the X-Files by Anne Simon, PhD. This is a nonfiction science book and I really enjoy X-Files and so I think it'd be interesting to kind of see the science behind each episode. So those are all the books I got in the month of June. So like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye!